There's the reception for the home team. They've got to get going. The last year's grand finalists with two wins as we head into round seven action for them. And Andrew Johns, a big job for Brendan Hands. It was shock news that Josh Hodgson is out with the flu. And just have a look at their lineup. He may well have to play the full 80 minutes. Yeah, talking to Trent Barrett, the assistant coach, before the game. He said Brendan will, will knock out 80 minutes. I've been really impressed with him. What I've seen, him gets out of dummy half, really quick, a real running threat. On the back of this big forward pack, he'll get some opportunity. So there is Savita Pangai, and Cameron Seraldo said he's worked on a lot of different areas, both personally uh, in terms of his Come mental on. application to the game. Let's see what he can produce for Canterbury. One of the big guns back today, the Bulldogs in possession to start Sunday footy and Max King has been a pillar of consistency up front for them playing 55 minutes a game this year and he's out near the 20 and here is the aforementioned man the former Bronco the former Panther for a handful of games before moving to Belmore now Fytala Mariner tackled very strongly in the middle of Combank Stadium which is virtually a sellout in terms of tickets as Burton fires a 40-20 attempt very early in the piece. It was tackled three, and Gutherson has to race back into the corner and have a look at the intensity of the kick chase. Yeah, intentions Three's shown eight. early by the Bulldogs. Eight. Burton straight on that left foot. Tackle three. They want to get their shoulders into the Parramatta Eels here today. To well, Billy, when you say their intentions, what, what are their intentions of that early kick? Well, they, they want to show the Parramatta team that they're willing to win it without the football. They want to together. kick it downfield and try and force an error from the Parramatta side. Here's Madison. He's onto an edge this afternoon. Hopgood into the starting team to play at lock forward. And Regan Campbell Gillard now. Last one, Marcus Lockies. And tackled by Waddell, just shy of the halfway line, and Moses, four try assists last week. Wonderful uh, individual performance. Now, Jaden Ockenbore, he's back on the wing. He played 72 minutes in the second row last time for them against the Cowboys. He's bulked up. That's what playing in the forwards does to you, Andrew. I think he's even played a bit in the front row this year. After being in the front row, you, you'd be happy to go back to the wing, wouldn't you? <laughs> yes. Now to Vita Pangai. Brett, what a whip. Brett Plowman. I remember Jesus Brett from the front row to the wing. Wait, Regan. The move from the wing to the front row is the one that probably shocks the system. He's lost the ball here. Farming for a penalty. He's Perham. No balance there, mate. It's up to you, mate. Thoughts of a challenge, but they're not going to fire one in at this early juncture. They tried to milk it. Interesting to watch Tavuta Pangai, junior played it today. He's been out with that calf injury for a couple of months now. Don't think he would have been doing too much running, so there'll be no match fitness. He might be a target in the middle. Someone like Clint Gutherson. Here's Gutherson around the back now, up against Avarillo. Nine members of Parramatta's grand final squad out there this afternoon. And with the exception of Hodson, who is ill, only Bailey Simonson missing from their top 30, which in the context of the broader competition where there's so many injuries, they are most fortunate to be in that position here, Parramatta. Here's Junior Polor back from two weeks out. Gee, was massive versus the Panthers in his last game, wasn't he? 244 running metres. Ball sent to Moses, middle of the field. Gutherson on to Dylan Brown. And the pass now to Lane. He's second up from a spell. Broken jaw. Keeping him sideline from the early rounds of the season. Brown. It'll come down near the goal line. They fly. And there's a number of them there. Who's, it's a wrestle for the football here. There's a stack of... Uh, Canterbury jumpers around it. Bulldogs ball. Goal During line. the week. Ah, right. the Bulldogs caught it at, in the field of play and they were dragged back, so Bulldogs it's going to be a line, line dropout. Line drop During out. the week, Brad Arthur challenged Dylan Brown to when pick up this game. Line, he had possession. Shot clock's on. First attacking kick was Dylan Brown, who kicks not Mitchell Moses. Great take, but then they push him in the end goal. He's responded already. Now, what's Burton going to do? 
Oh, when you've got a boot like that, why would you bother kicking it short? That's gone 63 metres off the fly. And Campbell Gillard! Oh. Well, there's Tavita. Sprinted at the defence and Tavita Pangai welcomed him with interest. And now Polor straight at Marty who bounced off. There's a one-two punch. Campbell Gillard and Polor at top speed. Moses. Madison. Gutherson was there, but he held onto the football. Inside the 30 metre line here. Hands away through Campbell Gillard, and then uh, Polo's pass is picked up on the bump by Dylan Brown. And Flanagan, part of a three man tackle to stop him. Short side play. Lane and Russell got in each other's way. But the former is tackled just outside. Canterbury's 10 metre line. Hands across now to Brown. Bodies in motion. Gutherson dummies and runs. Moses was around the corner. He couldn't get the ball to him. Gutherson plays it. Moses to the in goal. Threads the needle over the back. The pressure continues. Well, the Bulldogs handling everything that the Parramatta Eels are throwing at them at the moment. They're getting their defensive line nice and straight. Good line speed. And the most dangerous they look is, is the big men coming off the back fence for the Parramatta side. Who's Here's that, the man? last tackle. And Alamotti yeah. getting back Ray. there to save the day. Ray. Like I said, the Bulldogs they looking nice and comfortable on their on try the line defensively. Go, so Burton's pulled the driver out again. Stay on. Oh, hang yeah, on. He swapped, sure. it. he swapped it for the sandwich, has he? No, driver. He thought about it. But that one's a wobbly kick. Not quite the... Uh, the power behind that one is to the last one. And Campbell Gillard. Max release! Reed waiting with Hold him. Wave, wave. Go. They won five of the last six between the teams. This Parramatta outfit. And they shift right now. Penasini pass over to Dunster. Ockenball gets across. And they hold him up. They were going to drag him there. But he flicked it over the top. That was neat work. Oh, Gutherson juggled it. He got it back before it could touch a bulldog. High-octane footy by Parramatta in the early exchanges here. Moses on the inside. Hop good. Bounced off by Taylor Mariner. Out the back it came. Ball went back. No tackle count restart. Madison away to hands. This must be really taxing on the Bulldogs here. There's a two-on-one. Pedersini didn't give it away to Dunster. Space now, Bulldogs. Frenetic footy. Nine metres short. Moses looks inside. Madison's there. Ockenbohr helping Preston. Four tackles down. Here's Gutherson off the left boot. That's pretty handy skill now. Karaz, he's caught. Oh, geez, there's some heavy legs out there for Canterbury. It is an onslaught. Well, it was a surprise play on play two. The first dropout, we saw Campbell Gillard take the hit up as we see Gutherson just force a repeat set. And then Polo, he took the next hit up, whereas... The second dropout, he actually passed the football, which caused a little bit of a bit of frantic in the in the Parramatta side. They're going to try and get it back through the short dropout. It's very high, and Russell's lost it. It's over the sideline too. Touch. Pressure by Karaz. Touch. Play the ball. Where Great do you want period it? for the Bulldogs. Like Touch I said, they look line. really comfortable defending their own try line, and sometimes. When you have to defend your own try line early in the game, it can give you a lot of confidence. Yeah, come on! Freddie, I've, I've heard um, dueling chants. We've right. had the para chant. Now we've got the Bulldog chant. Yeah, she's pretty even here. There's plenty of supporters from the Bulldogs. They're just around the corner as well. And it's a beautiful day, 23 degrees. Talking about the tackle count, if you start to pile up against the Bulldogs, this is the type of weather. It mightn't affect you now, but you could wear someone down. It's pretty warm for this time of year. The breeze is coming straight across the ground, so it's not really helping anyone. It may turn a little bit south, so that would be behind the Parramatta What a team, ball, but... Pangai. Thanks, Brad. Flanagan into space. Get... Oh, he... did he pop it? He lost it, Flanagan. Well, he was trying to get Hit an off play to Matt Burton. Double knock on. Parramatta knock first. on. If he got that to Burton, he was off. Shot well, clock is this off. Is... This is about understanding your teammate. And just have a look at Kyle Flanagan when Tavita Pangai runs the football. Well, hit the arm of Will Panasini. You can see him trying to get the ball to his halves partner in Matt Burton, who was in a bit of space. But 
When Tavita ran the football, Kyle Flanagan was ready for the offload. That's good signs from Kyle Flanagan. For me, a knock on him is doesn't create enough. It's good to see him really back himself there. We go for a 50-50 pass. Good signs. Oh, no. Uh, that's not a good sign. How often do you see the winger overrun a player on one of those sweep lines? One of my pet hates. Whatever depth you think you've got, take another two metres. Watch Ockenball. He gets the ball out the back. He's nearly in front of him. Get a bit more depth and run onto it. Billy, that's something you played a lot, that, that angle out the back. That's what happens when you put a front rower on the wing. <laughs> exactly. What, what, what are some of your other pet hates? Oh, it's what there, time is it? It's kids watching. Release ball! Wait! Go one, Matt, Matt! Content! Who's done that? Good scurry. Both Thank the para centers from the same junior club today. Wait. Will Penasini, Sean Russell, Rouse Hill, Rhinos. Jack Arthur was one of them as well. So, Max, nice. big afternoon for that junior club. I think Brad Arthur coached them. Yeah, he did. And the juniors, yeah. A bit more job security in junior football. Here's uh, Polo. A bit more politics. He is just a Hulk, isn't he? No, no, no. Wait. You can't go off the mark, mate. On four. Brendan Hans. Regan Campbell Gillard, tackled by Faitala Mariner and his old teammate Rude Murray, making a nuisance of himself. Now Moses, he's kicking for his outside men to leap up. They go well taken, Paul Alamotti. Yeah, that's twice now. And they've kicked to Paul Alamotti. He's not the tallest centre in the game, but he's got a great leap on him and nice and safe under the high ball. Ockenbohr with a bit of uh, front row donkey work. Revelation, this kid's been... Oh, no. He's Tackle been three. whacked. Oh, no, not a knee. Lower leg injury here, Case. Tackle three. It's it's the inside of his knee. Well, you can see that right knee's bandaged. He's in great discomfort. Jacob Carraz, who's been in great form this year. Ooh, well, you can just see nice. Ryan Madison just trying to get the legs together. Please don't be another ACL. Did he have an ACL? No, no. No, he's grabbed the inside. That's he's got it. He's got his four, knee strapped up. Might get into Brad here. Um, Freddie, well, what are you seeing there from the trainers? It was a bit of panic. They got their hands up. I'm not sure if they're calling for a, some sort of assistance. There we go. Well, the, the, the way that his knee bends on the inside, you would assume that that's a medial ligament, which is a, a lot better than an ACL, I suppose. And they, they can be painful, so let's hope for the best for Jacob Carraz. Well, what what a, a, a fan favourite he's become this year, running for 210 metres a game, second most metres in the comp heading into the, the weekend, and 19 offloads before the weekend. So he is worth his weight in gold and such a popular member of this team. So I think everyone hopes that is not as bad as it may look yeah, you can, see, you can see the reshuffle already. And Jackson right, and Torpenay. He's going out to left centre. And Alamotti's coming out to this right wing. Yeah, Dylan! Well, he's walking out assisted Carraz, so let's hope. Let's hope for good news. Here's Preston. Burton under it. Oh. There's a Burton Torp. I'd hate to be a Steeden when he kicks it. Sebo! Up square now! Oh, he Seven tries this year, 38 in 40 games on this ground. Freddy says you'll score in that corner in the first half. He, uh, that is his corner. 
they should put a plaque down there. The Sevo corner. Let's get in. Good powerful run there from Madison. And through the hand. Oh! Campbell Gillard gets ironed out. Great tackle. Is it Tavita Pangai again? He's Brown. He kicks out for Sevo. Sevo the Alamotti. And Alamotti knocks it back. Ball it's back. grounded by the Bulldogs in the in goal. Shot clock's on. All possession has been with the Eels. 63% percent, percent of possession. They want to get the scoreboard moving. Benny, All yeah, this possession and field position. Stay on here. The Dogs defensively really defended well because <laughs> the Eels, a lot of ball movement. I have to say the Dogs have defended well. Burton short. He gets such hang time underneath it. That's perfect for Wade. And they're going to get another result. Well, that was a, a timely positional change. We see Ockenball come over to this right wing now. Alamotti's gone back to the left wing. They're, they've switched it around just in time for Ockenball to get up for that short dropout. Andrew, what is it with Burton that allows him to hit the ball as sweetly as he does? It's just timing. Left footers. They hit the ball so sweet. Yamani, he's got three 40-20s in the season, and he tries his luck here. It rolls towards the touchline, but Gutherson gets across. And Gutherson, he's held up and dragged! Yes, he's over! What about that by the Bulldogs? Have a look at the reaction of the Bulldogs. They're sprinting. Everyone sprinting in. Where do we want to, guys? Play the ball. Let's have a look at this when they push him out. Gutherson does really well here. And they hit, hold him up. And then the troops come. Look at this. That's a great effort. But look at the reaction. Reed Marnie all sprinting in. That is old school bulldog bite. Wait for it, wow. Just looking at that high shot, you see Tavita Pangai Jr. was leading the kick chase. Wait, Wait. That's great signs. 15 minutes into this contest. And he's been heavily involved. Keep an eye out for the number 10 here in this set. This is as far down the ground as Canterbury have been. Flanagan plays out. Oh, again, he squeezed away out the back. Oh, apparently got that back. It was Madison scrapping for it. But Hayes Perham scooped the ball up in time. Well, you gotta, you got to be ready. He offloads the ball to Vita. He wants to, oh, he's, got it, he's done it again. How did he do that? My goodness. Fatala Mariner fends off Brown, can't punch through the hole. Polo grabbed him as he was about to explode away. Flanagan across the line now. He finds Preston who loses his feet and Moses is thinking about a one-on-one -on -one steal. 13 short of the Parramatta line. They've defended stoutly early here, Canterbury. Can they score a try? Marnie with a dink behind them. Sebae wants to let it roll. And I think he was patient. No, the same goal line dropout. 20 metre. Oh, no, 20 metre. He, he was patient, yeah, wasn't it? He held his yeah, nerve. Yeah, he hits it back into the power motor play. You want to challenge it? Wait, wait. You're going to challenge this? Case. Well, you shouldn't have to challenge this. We have a this. captain's challenge. I thought the bunker. The on-field ruling is it's hit backwards into the from the Bulldogs into Parramatta. Dead off them. Doesn't the bunker check these Fair anyway? Enough, Usually. And so you see Corey Waddell. And he, he doesn't give up on the play. And bounces, the play's been cleared up until this point. Bounces in the field of play and then... Waddell dives around Sevo, hits the ball back. Corey Waddell plays at the ball, knocking it back into Micah Sevo, who is not playing at the ball. The challenge is unsuccessful. Oh, the ball guy's hit it into him, he's not playing at it. So you got no more challenges, Reid. Front foot here. Front foot, back, back. <laughs> Emma, breaking news. Yeah, Matt, Billy called it. It is a medial for Jacob Carraz. The doctors are thinking it's a low grade two, so probably looking at about three weeks on the sideline. So definitely great to hear that it's not an ACL. Oh, that's much, uh, much more comforting news than we feared. Pop good now. 
strong run. Carries the defenders for an extra six or seven metres. Campbell Gillard. Charge at his Australian teammate, Please. Matt Burton. Ten out from the halfway. Moses down a right-hand short side. Links up with... Uh, oh, no, he's got the ball here, Madison. It is a halfway line. Shot clock's on. Reed. Middle. Seems offloading is the order of the day for both outfits. Well, if they can get some field position, the Parramatta Eels, the reshuffle to the Bulldogs' left-hand side, and you've got Torpenay in the centres and Alamotti defending on the wing, and a couple of positional changes. That's the side I'd be heading, that right-hand side of the Parramatta Eels. I'll turn the clock. Okay. Heads down. Hold there. Break. Oh, hang guy on Moses. There's a period there who was the most destructive forward in the game, Davida Pangai. He's definitely got the potential to do that. It's just consistency. Everyone wants to see. Get him out the back. Good read. Sivo with a great shot on now Jake Avarillo. He's got four tries in five games against Parramatta. Now fight Tyler Mariner. Avarillo not 100%. One again, short to Preston. He's trying to run this off here out of a reload. Oh, he's on the ground. Oh. Charge down. Bounces straight back to Alamotti. We're the full set of six. It's been half raked out there. The ball bobbled out the back and Preston's dived on it. So Alamotti, um, pardon me, Avarillo was trying to keep mobile, but as Billy said, he, he's on the deck and... Gee, they might be about to lose another outside back. Yeah, he's got that right knee heavily strapped. And Josh Reynolds on the bench. He might have to come on for Avarillo here. Oh, he's in agony. They, they are cursed with injury. Oh, oh Pangai winds up. Look at the acceleration. With a fresh set of six, he's two, three metres out. Now, Marnie had the ball knocked out. And Burton toes ahead, and I don't think he's grounded. I, I don't know if he's grounded. Look, maybe it's a try. Maybe this is a try in very unorthodox circumstances. Okay. Well, Chris Butler didn't really know what to do then. We have a no try. I believe there's a knock on. If there's no knock on, we've got a penalty for Mitchell Moses being offside on the 10. So Reed Marnie gets out of dummy half. Is it Clint Gutherson at, at marker? He grabs the arm of Reed. Does that ball go forward or backwards? Clint Gutherson plays, uh, is making a tackle playing at the arm of Reed Marnie. I'm just looking to see which direction the ball has gone. It's going to be hard to tell from this camera angle. That goes forward. Yeah, that's forward. The ball is knocked forward from Reed Marnie. There is an on-field call of offside on Mitch Moses. We have a decision. So uh, that's, that's classed a knock-on because, as we know, the bunker can't adjudicate on forward pass. So you heard there too, there was a penalty with Moses it's offside. So right. Canterbury, so if they want, they've got go. two points. Well, Moses is staring at them. He's not happy. And on first look, he was. Tavin. He looked on just line, offside. I told you, yeah. This would be huge for the Bulldogs if they could score here. And Avarillo is staying out on the ground. What a willing start to Sunday footy. You'd expect nothing less between two clubs with such a rich history. Polo squashes Reed Marnie into the 10 metre line. Well, that's twice they've got their former teammate out of dummy half. Avarilla, he, he cannot get out of a walk. He'll have to come off. Six more. Marnie for Pangai. Good tackle. That was Brandon Hands. Three out from the line now. Marnie, Preston. Snuck inside of Moses, but the reinforcements came. 
Again, they pick Reed Marnie off. They've, they've done their work on their old teammate. They know he takes a little while, and they're rushing him and pressuring him, and it's worked. Pangai from dummy half. And, uh, oh, the ball goes out the back, and it's been intercepted by Parramatta, and has dunced the races up to the 30, and that passage of attack for the Bulldogs doesn't come to fruition and we've still got Avarillo well, Hayes, on the right wing and he can't run so I think Parramatta have seen him too. Hayes Parham, he's, he's had a head knock. Well, they got him shot to pieces here. Oh, they had a two-man overlap. Ball had to go left. Moses Madison, great ball around the corner, Pedersini, he beats them all. Will Pedersini to open the scoring. Moses to Madison, and he's a wonderful offloader for a big man. And it's the Eels with first blood after 21 minutes. Well, you can put this down to the pressure that Parramatta put on the Bulldogs down on their try line. Defensively, they were, they were really good. The ball comes to the left-hand side, then goes back to the right. Gets the ball in a key position player. Izuzu MUX replay. And it's a great offload by Madison, who missed the start of the year. They're getting their back row back in order with Lane and Madison into some space. And then a beautiful offload to Penasini. He runs straight over the top of Perham. And it's the Parramatta Eels that go coast to coast. It's one of Mitchell Moses' favourite plays. Four attackers, four defenders, and he uses his speed and gets across the field. And this time, just let it roll. Just pause it there. He'll get into the line. He'll come off his left foot. And he likes to go out to create the overlap. And this player here has to turn in. Let it roll. Let it roll. He goes forward. Burton turns in. Legs tackle. Great support. He's a player of great potential. This young man, Will Panasini. been a cracking start and Will Penasini's try has ignited the fans here Stay at Combank here. Stadium. Beautiful afternoon and support for both clubs. 6-0 though, yeah. Parramatta breaking a deadlock which lasted for 21 minutes. Well, we saw Hayes Perham laying on the ground. I'm sure he may be coming right off for a head there. assessment. Lane hits strongly. Okay, Max, right here. A good determined Lace. run. And kept uh, driving forward. King and Marnie were there. There's the uh, there's the HIA we're looking at, I think. Yes, Brad? Yeah, well, looking at the doctor, he was touching his shoulder. So whether it was Hayes Perham, hurt his shoulder earlier down the field, uh, we're not sure. But um, I don't think it was anything to do with the HIA. Okay. Here's Perham on the cart back. Tackled by Russell. Avarilla has to come off. He just can't run. Get together. He can lane. 17 Ryan Get Sutton together. sporting the headgear. He's been starting up in the front row last few weeks. And they've got some troops back to allow him to go onto the bench. Preston. Tackle four. And Perham on the last. He goes a Burton bomb. Whoa! It's swirling everywhere. And Ockenbaugh was the most likely catcher. And Russell held off and made the tackle, and it's a turnover. Six to go! Oh, Ockenbaugh's got it back. It was knocked back by Canterbury. No, I went forward. Oh, well, surely first. it went forward. And now we've got a late call with a knock on. Yeah, that was a touch judge. Yeah. What about that strike? Clean. It went out of the stadium. Dush. No 
wait. Oh, Marty. Stand square. Gets into the hit zone and wait. picks up his old Great. teammate, Mike Acebo. Great space. Hopgood offloading, hands great. waiting. Great. Gutherson there in support. That was great play by Hopgood. Ball in two hands, looking, footwork, late offload. Moses with a change of direction. He beat Burton again. And he played it very fast. And Gutherson, oh, as a penalty here on tackle number four. Uh, see, th this is really tough. And we're seeing some of these penalised and some of them not penalised. When a ball player goes deep into the line Greggy. with a support runner, you've nearly got to make the tackle. They've tapped and taken off here, and Widemer Gregg Read is up the to the 20 metre line. Power looking to strike twice here. Brown caught that flat. Gutherson, massive overlap. Sebo, Freddie picked it. Sebo scores in his corner, and it's 10 0. Well, listen to the crowd. They love it when their winger scores in that left-hand corner, Mike Acevo. Isuzu MUX replay from Dylan Brown. He was challenged through the week to get his hands on the footy a little bit more. And he replies, beautiful pass by Gutherson over the top. Mike Acevo, he was untouched in that left-hand corner. Well, watch Avarillo here. Jersey three, he, he cannot run. He can't run. How's he going to defend when he can't run? Puts all sort of pressure on the outside man. Ockenville has to come in and see that. Too easy. Well, there's a great vision there of Dylan Brown. You just see him glance to the inside. What that does to the outside defence, it makes them turn in and stay square and preserves the space outside for Sevo. That was a beautiful shot. Well, he's still out just there. Just watch him glance on the inside, and that just keeps Ockenball, Avarillo, who's noticeably lame. Well, mate, he's still out there. Surely they're going to take him off. He's happy, that he young fella. He's happy. I was watching Moses in the warm up, and he was flushing his shots at goal. What a sight. Fans packed in the combank on a Sunday Arvo. Oh. His warm-up was on point and so is that. They're hard to hold when they uh, hit the front here at Combank. This Parramatta the juggernaut. Oh, Campbell Gillard. Who was that? Is that Corey Waddell? Yep. Oh, oh. He, he's been on a mission from the, the first whistle of the game, Regan Campbell Gillard. Lane pops it away. They've got a massive overlap out here. It's catch and pass stuff. Penasini up to the halfway. Dunster comes back infield. Moses is there. He's too fast. Moses streaks away. Power flying. I love this play. Beautiful ball movement, and it was set up.
the moment. A few players have come off with injuries, a few walking around with some hobbles. I've got to say, this noise when Mitchell Moses scored that try was deafening. It was incredible how loud the crowd came across. And now they're just singing a bit of a song here. Well, normally a goal kicker blows up. If someone makes a break, it doesn't bring the ball close to the goalpost. They give him a spray. I don't think he can give himself a spray. I think his confidence is that high. He wanted to challenge himself. <laughs> he could have brought that another 10, 15 metres in. What does Daryl Halligan say when you score a try? you got to kick him. Last week, his performance against the Tigers, his kicking game. Set up the first three tries, all with grubber kicks. Time's off. There's nothing more disheartening than conceding a try from the restart. The same set as the restart. And that's what the Bulldogs have just done. Oh, then you've got to handle Big Reg again. <laughs> They've got to, firstly, stem the bleeding. Canterbury with... Uh, we've still got 10 minutes before half-time here. Andrew, give room. Lock in, well, if they do their homework and look up... You can see Avarillo once again, he cannot run. He'll just, just go there every set. Jeez, he's liking the look of that right hand there, Disney Mitchell Moses. And Matt Burton, fine player, he's having some issues over there. Handling the Parramatta halfback, who's reefing one high and long, and Ockenbohr. Started on the left wing, now playing on the right through necessity. Carries back beyond his own 20. Well, if they, if they can hold the ball here, the Parramatta Eels, they can really score some points. They've got Avarillo on this right-hand side on one leg, and you've got a back rower, and Torpenay in the centres on the left-hand side. They'll like their chances if they can hold the football. Here's Andrew Davey. His first game in the top grade for Canterbury. He debuted for Parramatta back in 2020 as a 28-year-old. So a couple of years at Manly and part of the Canterbury setup now. He's had a wretched run with injuries too, Andrew Davies. So good to see him out there. Now Marnie, oh, it's the last. Oh, I don't think he knew. Well, he was trying for a penalty. He thought the marker went early. He's hoping. Wait. Chris Butler. Wait. Back. Would award a six again. All right, let's go. Okay, no it's quite the gamble. Read off the ball. <laughs> oh. Error, penalty. Sure. It spells trouble. <laughs> Sean Russell. The left centre should be screaming to the blue in the face of his halves to get him the ball. Well, they've done OK on the scoreboard without targeting Avarillo. So what, what might be ahead if they come to this left-hand edge and they do that now? A ball from Lane to Brown, a spectacular pass. Brown wrapped up, but they're only 10 metres out. Gutherson takes them on himself. He's up against Flanagan, who does well. And Marnie, well, he's everywhere. Critical that Canterbury turn Parramatta away here, you fancy. It's with Hopgood. Ball played almost under the black dot there, and Brown to Greg, and they've done that. I think the pass was forward. It was knocked on by Greg anyway. And now Canterbury, thinking about a counter-attack, but Flanagan took the conservative option. Greg wasn't even watching. He thought it was a decoy. He had his hands in his pockets. That'll help. 
Easy mark here, Matt. Not over it, mate. Stay on. <laughs> Front foot, where are we? Kicked by the super boot. To the middle of the ground, he's found touch on the halfway line. Now, Torpenag, who actually spent most of last week's game at left centre as well. Yeah, unfortunately, Cody Walker and Latrell Mitchell found him. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first one, won't be the last. Waddell now. Can Canterbury find a try before half time? Here's Sutton. There's Hopgood, there's Greg, there's Madison. Middle of Combank Stadium, just inside the 30 where he played the ball there. Now he's gone behind his man in King, but the referee, uh, he doesn't say obstruction. He's allowing play to continue. And Flanagan is dragged to ground. Burton looks around, rolls a kick to the end goal. It's going to be too long, way too long. Yeah, lacked a little bit of organisation, that set. Looked very disjointed, as did the last play option. Gee, Gutho's got a nasty cut under his eye. Together now! Wait. Corey, wait. Jake in space! That won't do much for his good looks. He's still a pretty handsome dude, though. Ruggedly handsome. Good footwork, Madison. Well, he played in the halves growing up. Ryan Madison was a 5'8 in the juniors. Now Brown. This has got an ominous look about it for Canterbury. Gutherson. <laughs> this will be about Tackle blood. four. Blood. I thought the referee was going to say, Averilla, you can't stay on. <laughs> we'll take you out the back, mate. Right. Poor Jake Averillo. He's... Mm. Well, he, can, he, he can't tackle it because there's no footwork. He's got no drive in his, his legs from that yeah. knee. Corey. Back here. Big part of, of defence is getting your feet in position four. and driving with your feet with the timing. Can't plan his feet because of that knee. I, I can't believe that they continually here. don't go there. Moses, they're coming through quickly. Perham was brave, and he needed to be. But the bad me. news is there's more pressure coming on Canterbury's defence. It reminds me of an origin when Jonathan Thurston hit his shoulder. <laughs> hurt his shoulder. It was great coverage by young Hayes Perham here. And doing a great job at fullback in the opening seven rounds of the competition. Oh. This is the fifth yeah. dropout for Canterbury. That's where the... The cut for Gutho occurred as Burton sent it 10. is going to bounce it. It bounces over, but it bounces straight to Sebo. Surrender! Stand, Jaden. Less than place. four minutes. Oh, this is absolutely pivotal for the Bulldogs' chances of getting back into this that they defend this set. Hopgood. Andrew, off the arm. Reed, you got to wait. Wait here, right? Wait here. Wait. 16 out. Dropped He's dropped oh, he it. dropped the ball. Yeah, he dropped it. On. Gee, they need half time, Canterbury, don't they? You've been impressed with Jermaine Hopgood, Bill? Yeah, he's been good. Obviously, playing some good football in the New South Wales Cup. Yeah, did you see the, the hands come away from the football for the Penrith Panthers the last couple of years? And, and what he's done to start this season at Parramatta, he's got a high work rate, but he's got a bit of footy in him too, Jermaine. Yeah, on yeah. the Sunday footy show last week, he was in and just talking to him. He loves it. Yeah. Watches all the games, works on his game. Young Queenslander from Harvey Bay. That's where the whales like to hang out, isn't it? <laughs> you into whale watching, Joey? <laughs> Only at night time. <laughs> Played by Waddell. Davey playing at lock. Perham promoting it on to Jacob Preston. Nice 
He looked like a whale watcher. Oh, forward pass for the half. Let's see, it's not the greatest of homecomings for Reed Marnie this afternoon. Well, it's a big two minutes here. Thanks, mate. And the Parramatta Short Eels. Short clock is on. They'll get good field position as we see the forward pass at a dummy half for Reed Marnie. This is where Mitchell Moses and Dylan Brown can turn this 16 0 lead into 20, go, possibly 22 to nil. That'll be a cruel blow going into half time Corey, for the dogs. Just around, Jacob here. Bryce, just around. No, no, around your second one, mate. Yep. Pays in. Shot clock off. Break. Moses using his speed again, flicked it out the back. Penasini. Oh, he almost got past, and there's a knock on. Knock on. I think Brad Arthur wouldn't be happy. Shot clock's on. In the last Middle. few minutes, pushing the pass. Got to stay in position. He's trying to get there too quick, Joey. Yeah. Chasing the big play. They let the big play come to you. You can't chase it all the time. What the dogs would give for four or six Break. points before half time. Pop and ball. Oh, I don't really. Oh, that's, that's cruel. Don't give it to Jake. That's cruel. <laughs> Wait. Have mercy. Up there, Ryan. I think he forgot about it for a minute and tried to take off, and they just grabbed him. He couldn't go anywhere. Sutton. Brandon, give room. Junior, Junior. Plays it to Marnie now. And Davey. Good go. run. Flanagan kicks. Perra runs into a big junior pole or shoulder. Hands runs back. Well, he, had, he had an attorney to get back there, Bridget. Well, Hands, but he threw it over the back. Hey, junior moves back here without a, a shadow of a doubt. Shot clock's on. It's hard to get around him anyway. But look, he's even giggling. I think he knows he's got a way. Just watch Junior here. He kicks. Oh, no. Well, it, it's good vision by hands. the Bulldogs, but it's even hey, better fullback play by Clint Gutherson. He was in the line. That's what Kyle Flanagan saw. So he thought he'd put it over the top. By the time he kicked it, Stay Clint on. Gutherson was back in position. That's that's what he brings to this team, Clint Gutherson. He can play multiple positions. So Parramatta at home, always difficult to beat. And in conditions like this, it suits them down to the ground. They have run in three tries in the opening half here, and they lead Canterbury 16-0. So Canterbury with work Stay to do. Reed Marnie, it's been an unhappy 40 minutes. You don't often see him outpointed, but he's uh, absolutely struggled by comparison with his normal standards. Stay now, there, uh, Jake Avarillo is still on the ground, is he? Well, this is a gutsy effort from him. Uh, he's not really in a position to contribute much with the ball. We saw him try to run earlier, and he pretty much collapsed on the spot. So I'm... I'm assuming he's out there because there's no one else who can really play in the centres unless Josh Reynolds plays. Well, Josh Reynolds could play 5-8. Yeah. And then you put Burton out wide. But it's the big men that have done a lot of the damage. And Hopgood powers his way over the halfway. Hands down a short side. Moses now. And here's uh, Bryce Cartwright, who's wearing 12, but started from the bench, so he's gone out there at half-time. Charge down. Kicked ahead by Brown and covered up very well there. Good desperation by Waddell. I think we got a Falcon then. There it is, Moses charged down. Doink. Ooh. There's Max King. Short, Nine short of the halfway. Well, Davies look likely. Last one, Sean, lock in. Wait. A couple of uh, energetic runs before half time, and Burton. And then Dave kick. Again, brilliantly struck. And the chase ends in the tackle of Preston and Ryan Sutton down there as well. That's Dunster playing it. And this is Will Penasini. Scored the first try of the afternoon. Right off the ball. 
Anderson's had that head cut bandaged up. Now Madison, he was top three for offloads in the competition last year. Brown for Lane, Marnie over there with a leg tackle and Waddell assisting. Five metres over the halfway line and Moses with his favoured kick. High and into a corner. Oh, he's appealing for a tackle by Marnie after he kicked it and he gets it. And plenty was being said then from Moses. Regis pushes him over, there's no attempt to tackle. Really? Brandon. Oh. That's a penalty. Wait, there, wait, wait, Brandon. Wait, Might be a costly one here. Cartwright's got it and he's oh! five out. Less than that. Brendan Hands, Jermaine Hopgood, Marnie, the main defender. That's a couple of old teammates just having a bit of fun with each other and he's been penalised for it. Moses out through the hands now. Brown with a dummy and run. Flanagan, good tackle. Okay, Hayes, Waddell's helped him out in defence on that side of the ground. Hand, short side again. Sean Lane started his NRL career at Canterbury back in 2015. Played 14 games for the club. A metre out when he played that. Brown gives it through the hands now. And it's Madison with Moses and now Gutherson who kicks ahead. It takes a bounce off uh, Bulldog legs and uh, Preston scrapping yeah. for it. And Gutherson's got the ball back and it's six more tackles. Oh, how much more pressure can this Bulldogs defence absorb? They've been asked to make so many tackles this afternoon. Late offload, very late. Polor. That was a brilliant pass. Hands to Hopgood. He backs into them with the thought of delivering a pass out the back, but they've secured the ball. And Marnie with another tackle, three metres out. Brendan Hands, Mitchell Moses. Pass misses its target, and Sebo goes back and gets it on the bump, and Waddell comes out to wrap him up. That's four tackles used on this recharge set. Brown now. Last tackle, Marcus! Moses kicks to the in goal, and the chases are coming, and Burton allowed it to roll dead. No goal line here. I'll check it, mate. I thought about something like that. Well, Burton's arguing oh, that he didn't touch the football. Well, it didn't look and like it from our vantage. And there's no challenge. I'll check it. I just thought no, it but they'll look at this. Yeah. They'll have a look at it. No. He's missed it. This will be a 20-metre restart. And showed plenty 20. of patience there, Matt Burton. Front foot here, guys. Front foot. Wait. 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 Back. You just see how tight the Bulldogs are if we get a high shot. Alamotti, good run. There's, there's no surprise where they're going. Straight down the middle of the field here. Well, here's Hayes Perra. He is, he is brutally strong, this Paul Alamotti. In his first NRL campaign, you don't see people almost busting through defences from 20-metre restarts very often. Here's King. They've used three plays and they're up past the halfway. Brandon, and another Brandon. rugged Ryan Sutton run. Play to Marnie. Right to Flanagan. Turned underneath to Corey That's Waddell. Hopgood the defender. He's rattling up the tackles this afternoon. King. Burton! Burton into the clear. Burton racing for the line. They've got him. It's Gutherson there to help. And Hopgood was back there in cover. But they're five metres out. Can Canterbury strike first after the break? Ball goes back oh. on the inside. It was touched by Parra. Sean Lane. Oh, it's a knock-on by Canterbury. Knock on. It looked oh, like Lane had touched Lane it only, touched it. but the referee seen a knock-on from the Bulldogs. Well, Parham. Well, this is the line break by Burton. Just a missed tackle there by Cartwright. And Gutherson makes the try saver. And then the inside ball here from Flanagan. Sean sure Lane got a touch to that. Back. What? The Bulldogs what? don't have a... What? Sean Lane knocked it down. I didn't even think a Canterbury player touched the Take ball. Canterbury don't have a challenge. Wait. Sean Lane knocked Wait. the ball down, surely. Anyway. Andrew, space. Wait, Ryan. 
Well, that's a head scratcher. Polo, soft hands on to Madison. That was an encouraging set, though, by Canterbury. And Burton caught a, a couple of defenders unaware with his speed. He scored three tries this year, Matt Burton. We, we know how proficient he is at ball running. He was the Dally M centre of the year a couple of years ago. Perham is jammed down in his own 10. Madison and, uh, sorry, Lane and Brown there. Here's Ockenbohr. This is Alamotti. Good ball. Really good. And Flanagan on the back up. And the pass to Perham. He's a talent, isn't he? Alamotti. My word. Oh, man, he's dropped. <laughs> it's not happening for Reed today. Yeah, it probably doesn't help. He's made upwards of 25, maybe more tackles. Now the ball just catches the leg of his teammate. Well, they're making a little bit of headway with that second phase offloading, aren't they? And, and like you said, Billy, there's, there's no secret. They're going to try just to play straight through the middle. Here's Sean Russell. Oh. Yeah. It's contagious. It's picked up, and here's an opportunity for Canterbury. That's Max King. He had a good turn of foot off the off the mark for a front rower. Flanagan, away to Avarillo. Thank you. Dylan, up square. And Waddell now. And tackled by hands around the legs. Madison up top. Marnie for Sutton, here's Burton, here's Preston with a change of angle. That was lovely footwork by the back rower. He gets as far as Gutherson. They're punching holes through them here, Canterbury. If they can put one on the board here, they're back in the contest. Burton with a kick, Alamotti gets the running to it. They have scored. That's gutsy by the Bulldogs. Well, the Parramatta Eels have given their opponents a chance here through drop balls and field position. Izuzu MUX replay. The ball goes to the key player in Matt Burton. Great play, Alamotti finishes it off. Matt Burton's left boot sets up Paul Alamotti's first NRL try. Yeah, it was great vision. Clint Gutherson, the fullback, he was caught up in the tackle on Preston. Isn't he likely? Preston, look at that. He looks like a long-term NRL player. Gutherson, he got caught up in the tackle. And beautiful kick in behind. I haven't seen too much Paul Alamotti. I think we're going to the next 10, 15 years. Oh, he's still a what kid. A talent. 19. He played 19's origin last year. Mm. Finding some space on the left-hand side of the field, the Bulldogs. It just turns right. No goal. Game on. Stay on. Canterbury have absorbed so much defensive punishment that they've thrown punches here. And they're on the board. Alamotti 
And a deserved try. It's an inspired game. I'm just wondering how much longer does Cameron Serraldo leave Tavita Pangai off the ground? Brad Fittler. I was just looking at Tavita Pangai. He's barking orders at his teammates as they're coming back for the kickoff. You've got Josh Reynolds. A little bit of that energy. This, I think that's what they need. Mm. I'm not sure how many more points are in the Canterbury side with the team they've got out there at the moment. Well, Brad Arthur's gone to his bench. Regan Campbell-Gillard's gone on the field. So you want to combat that with Tavita Pangai. His pair of and King. He's been impressive. The hands and Cartwright, the two defenders there. And Perham once again, they're getting, they're getting them with some footwork in close. He's been impressive, Hayes Perham. Been through a lot of work. Here we go. Boom! Oh, this will take all of Gutherson Skilly. Yeah, he didn't quite get that simply. one. Surrender! He just mishit that one. If he can get a hold of a few of them and get his chases down there, they might come up with an error. It's a courageous performance in Bulldogs. Like, really, they're playing with 12 men. Averilla really struggling with that leg. Oh, there's Paul. Oh, there's a run. Of course, they had the devastating news this week. And Viliame kick out, or actually his, his pec, he's having surgery. And they're saying it could be anything as long as 14 weeks now. They were initially saying six to eight. This... This Canterbury club has been tortured by injury this year. Alamotti with another physical run, but uh, they, they pour the blowtorch back on him in defence. Penasini uh, and Dunster combining. He's Torpenay. On the 30 metre line, Ockenbohr runs to Madison. Polo down low and Lane part of that tackle also. There's a Fox and Karaz. Their first choice wingers, both sideline. Oh, Flanagan gets manhandled. Last tackle, Regan, you got away. Perham for Burton. Here we go. That's better. <laughs> Look at this one. And Gutherson takes it well. He makes that look far simpler than it is. <laughs> he hit that one a bit better, Matt Burton. He had the elbows in tight then, catching that ball. <laughs> That's penalty. The 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 catching that ball. The key here, he keeps his feet moving. Well, Billy, you talk us through it. You're the best at it. Well, this can shift a long way in the last couple of minutes, or a couple of moments of descent. He's got to keep his feet underneath him. His eyes, he's got that headband on. That would have hampered his eyesight. But here come the Parramatta Eels. This is where Mitchell Moses and Dylan Brown need to get involved. Campbell Gillard. He's having a wonderful start to the year. Brown, Moses. And now Cartwright, Marnie's been knocked over. Cartwright goes over to score. Ryan Madison coming through Race. to decoy. And he takes out Reed Marnie. This will be no try. Mm. Looked too easy, didn't it? We've got a lead runner from Parramatta. Takes out Reed. Then they take their advantage. Just confirm we have a no Why try. Go to the bunker? If we see it, everyone can see it in the stadium. Just ward the penalty. <laughs> Ryan Madison makes contact with Reed Marnie denying him an opportunity to defend. We have a decision. The emotional roller coaster of Australia's greatest rivalry is back for 2023. See, the best of the best battle it out for origin glory. Secure your seats today, nrl.com slash tickets, the place to go. Ooh, King ran, out, ran into a shoulder, I reckon, of Polo. Yeah, Cameron Seraldo has gone to his bench. Tavita Pangai, he's on the field now. Sutton dumped in a great tackle from Brendan Hans. And that has hurt. 
Stand up. Hold. That was a perfectly legitimate tackle. Oh, it's that. It's the squeeze from from Regan Campbell Gillard. Well, it's a total accident. Accidental. Yeah. Right, Alex. You doing HIV, mate? Because we're going to be playing the ball here. Tackle three. Three guys. Here's Tavita Pangai. That's the run of a fresh man. Gee, I wonder if he's capable of terrorising Parramatta and, and pulling Canterbury back into this. He's the he's the uh, the ace of the pack, isn't he? Ball played now. Marnie for Flanagan. He kicks back over the top. Burton's running through. The kick probably wasn't weighted as he may have liked, and uh, Burton was a bit too far back to challenge Gutherson, who's tackled nine out. Well, Gutherson saw the threat. Great vision. Oh, he's a footy player, isn't he? With and without the footy. You see, he could understand what the Canterbury Bulldogs team and their key players were coming up with, and he put himself in the right spot. It's Campbell Gillard. Great tackle, Marnie. Madison again. Last tackle, Marcus. Four metres short at the halfway line. Moses kicks into a corner. Then Perham tippy toes and picks it up right near the corner post. He had uh, he looked up and saw Junior Paul or sprinting down the field, so he did the wise thing and stepped away from him. He was tackled by Cartwright instead. And now Lamotti playing it, and here's Ockenbohr. Oh, there's a strong run. Out past the 30 metre line. Now it's Avita Pangai. Targets Moses, but Cartwright helped him out, and then Campbell Gillard laid on the scene. They've used four plays. They stack a short side. Burton to Preston. Oh, he had to get the ball away there, Preston. Oh, he went too far on the line there. Burton had to give. Preston a bit more time. Burton up and across the ground. And Sivo's the target. And he takes it strongly. Josh Reynolds is out there in 14. Wardell, the other defender. So, a bit of a stalemate here. Canterbury appeared like they were working their way back into it, courtesy of that Alamotti try. But Parramatta just calm the game. They haven't let them generate any great momentum, their opposition. They can't get bogged down, Parramatta. That's not their game. They like to move the ball, move the defence around. We saw in the first half, a lot of offloads. Gutherson. Oh, he threw the pass to Russell. Play on. It's been knocked, knocked forward, and it's play on, and Reynolds has got it. <laughs> there was an appeal for a tackle oh! without the ball infringement, but the referee didn't see it that way. They want to be very careful here, Parramatta. Once again, so courageous, the dogs. Get up, play the ball. Time on. Well, he's going to add some energy, Josh Reynolds. Pangai, one-handed off by Flanagan's just been there waiting for him, hasn't he? And back to Marnie. Nice room. Brendan here, Regan. Gee, one more try and they'll really get Parramatta's interest. Burton to Preston. Strong run. Fifteen metres short of the Eels line. Marty out at second receiver. Reynolds shows it once. Goes himself. Reynolds nearly got through there. Dylan release. It was only Dylan Brown, the last line of defence. Here's to be the Pangai from close range. He threw the ball to Lockett for. And that was a red hot chance if he took it. That was called forward. Oh. I didn't see the full pass call. Well, they're coming up with chances, the Bulldogs. Reed Marnie goes out to Reynolds, and he found himself in some space. We well, had Maybe. to let the ball go. They had him shot to pieces then. I know Avarillo oh, can't yeah. run, but yeah, that went forward. 
It's a real opportunity when the dummy from Josh Reynolds. Well, what about the talk from the ref? Stay on. It's been a kick score. Um, Freddie. The ref Come nailed that. He absolutely down. nailed it. Yeah, he nailed that. I've got to say, the players that just went on, good move by the coach. Not only the dogs players will be confident that there's points in them. On the other side, the Parramatta side, I think, will be a little bit nervous as well. I'm in awe of Chris Butler's top. Straight away, Josh! We're, we're see if we can find a replay. You're in awe of it. You've got to get out more. <laughs> I'm a footy nerd. Campbell Gillard running one out. Now he gets to play five. Moses station right. Brown station left. Brown gets it. Dinks it in behind. Ockenball turns and chases. Perham over there. Great. He's got to get this back. He does, does he? No, no he doesn't. Game. Yeah, Dylan Brown. On the line. Hats off to him. He just identified Hayes Perham just leaning towards the middle of the field. If we get the high shot on this, this will show it lovely. Just threads the needle and just gets some grass on the football, which pulls it up. Some great chase down there by Russell and Sivo. Just see there, Perham hanging towards the middle of the field. And Dylan Brown identified that, backed himself short, drop out. They're going to get it back. They have, uh, they have reaped the benefit of that short drop out. Oh. I reckon three Freddy, times Freddy, at least Freddy. today. Canterbury. No, he's knocked it on to Vita Pangai. Just go to touch early, mate. All right, just a snap. It's quite a sight, isn't it? It's Josh. a new age stadium. You got 10 seconds, mate. Yeah. You need one. Steepest Sorry, stands in Australia, apparently. Heads a down. good Stop source told off. me earlier. Heads down. Stay on. Freddie's had the protractor Break. out this week. Ball goes uh, right to Moses now. And underneath to Will Penasini. They have hung hey, tough oh, here, Canterbury. Man, man. And they've had their own chances, but Para have a gold one here. Let's give room. Brendan Hand, seven out from their line. Here's Makatoa into the game for the first time. Pulled down by Tavita Pangai and also Reed Barney within a couple of metres of the line. Campbell Gillard, we know he's good from close range. He's over, he turns, and he may well have got this on the turf. He has. It's a try. Would you listen to that crowd? Well, the fans here in the blue and gold know who set this game up, and it was Regan Campbell Gill. It's been an inspired performance by Rick and Campbell Gillard this afternoon. And a try on the back of some uh, thunderous running and great defence. Well, they still haven't awarded this one. Try hasn't been confirmed. Mitchell Moses is still waiting to kick the footy. The but Joey, the is there. Hang on. Time off. The, the, the referee's there. The bunker's not there. The referee is there. Look, he can see the ball's on the ground. Well, you're not going to get a clear vision. Try confirmed. Joey, I want to, I want to ask you about Brendan Hands. He's yeah, really impressed. Done a great job today. Yeah. 
gets out of dummy half. I think he's played in the halves coming through because you can see his ball playing. But just these last 15 minutes, watch him when he gets out of dummy half. Smart with the ball. Stay behind. 22-4. Canterbury have got to find something special and soon. Short restart again. How good are they at this? They've got it down. Pat, his king. They could score straight away and cancel that out but from Parramatta. Reed Marnie. And now Big Tavita again. Reed Marnie's gone to halfback. And Kyle Flanagan's playing dummy half. That's an odd one. Burton, Perham, they had them stripped. Alamotti might still be strong enough to score. He does. They've got it straight back. Well, once again, the back rower takes a player out. This time it's Preston. Case, coming up to tackle three. Having no try. Based on the contact on Mitchell, I believe they then have to defend three on two. Also want to clear any contact on Matt Burton, please. And you see Jersey 12. Jacob Preston go through. He'll make contact with Mitchell Moses. Now he does this really well, Moses. Jacob Preston runs at the outside shoulder of Mitchell Moses, which denies him the opportunity to continue to slide out wide, and the Bulldogs take their advantage. We have a decision. Yeah, that's just a bit of execution. Matt Burton crowded Preston also. A little bit sideways in the movement, which if you do that, you run into the risk of, of this. Just watch Burton. He, he just continually runs sideways and runs into Preston's space. And then everyone coming out as a defender. And that's what can happen. Moses is really clever there. When he defends near his back row, he gets a little bit tighter. So the opposition back rower, that post Preston, really finds Jackson, it hard to get into space. He's very clever the way Jackson, he defends Jackson, that. Jackson. Mitchell Moses. Oh, Makatawa, that was a great change Jackson, of direction off the left foot. Campbell Gillard again. He's ferocious. Been, he's been the best today. Pop good. That one doesn't come off. Pass was a fraction too hard for Makatoa. He's ball playing Hop good. Just watch Hop good here. The way he's got the ball in two hands. And he's running straight in the line. Watch it. He looks in. He comes out and plays short. He had a reasonable mentor at Penrith, Andrew. Look in. Look at this. He's a really good ball player. He understands it. If you love your swimming, then don't miss this as the Dolphins of a different kind make a splash on your screens. Stream every heat and final of the national age and the Australian Swim Championships right now. Exclusive live and free on nine now until April 20. All for tickets go to swimming.org.au. And uh, looking towards a, a, a World Swim Championships for Fukuoka in Japan in July. I wonder if this is a move for the future. I mean, he's got Kyle Flanagan playing dummy half and Reed Marnie at halfback. This is a, a bizarre change. Ooh, another one. Oh, it came off. The ball came out the back and it looked like Parramatta was going to get it back. Instead, King dived on it. And Burton. Oh, yep. Whoa. Yep. yep. That's a space project. Oh, oh well got this an outstanding catch. That's brave. He would have heard the footsteps. You'd hear him coming, Billy, wouldn't you? Oh. That position. <laughs> Deafening. That, that's as good as a take from a bomb as you'll see this year. 
he absolutely nails this one, Matt Burton. Oh. Look at the spiral. And Clint Gutherson stands his ground. He's got the blinkers on for the ball. That's all he sees. What a courageous take. Down to you, Freddie. In the interview Freddie, before guys. the game, I asked Clint guys. Gutherson about Matt Burton's bombs. He said, I'm going to swallow them up. Well, that he did. Mm. Cartwright. Dragged to ground by Flanagan. And Makatoa running into King, who's played good minutes, Max King. Left to Dylan Brown, short pass lane. Passes out the back and Ockenbaugh scraps for it and Canterbury have got the ball back. So just over 11 minutes to go. There's sufficient time, but they've just got to find a spark here, Canterbury, and put another try on the board, see if they can get something rolling. Popane tackled on his own 30. Now Alamotti gets swarmed upon by Bryce Cartwright. Good imposing defence. Lane with uh, Dylan Brown. Reed Marnie, 40 20 attempt. Normally he kicks them out of dummy half. He's uh, kicked this one from first receiver. Oh, does anyone want to take it? Well, Gatho ended up in the stands with his supporters over there, and Hayes Dunster had to bring the ball back. Dylan Brown. A very dangerous ball runner, particularly when defences get tired. Five try assists so far in the season for him. And Hopgood. Gutherson involved. Ockenbull probably saved the try with that. It's unlucky that ball didn't stick. Yeah, a little bit like Jermaine Hopgood before Joey. And Dylan Brown just sh showing on the inside and then playing to the outside. And just turns the outside defenders in. And if he can get that ball over the top to Mike Acevo, there's plenty of grass out there. All Parramatta players lined up to the right-hand side of this scrum. You're in the scrum. Hey, so you get it young. Shot clock off. Break! Brown on to Gutherson, and then Moses fires a pass out to Dunster. Burton drags him down. Now Will Penasini. 25 short of Canterbury's line, Campbell Gillard still ripping and tearing. Max Tavita. Plays the ball to Hans. Moses. And away now to Dory, who's played with Canterbury the last couple of years before moving in the off-season to Parramatta. Moses dinks it through. Gutherson's chasing. Oh, that's well done. Parham, another courageous defusal at the back. He's been good. He's been really good. Parham. Up square. Body waste. She ran hard there. He accelerated at the defence. There's Reynolds. And Andrew Davy feigned to pass and then kept driving the legs and broke out of two tackles. Well done. Flanagan kicks on five. A long way down there for Mike Acebo. And there's Marnie as Just ever now. leading kick chase and Andrew. Reynolds there also. Wait, wait. So a trip to Darwin for uh, for Parramatta next week. It's become an annual pilgrimage for them. They'll oh, 
be taking on the Broncos at TIO Stadium. You'll see that here on nine Friday night footy. Andrew Reed together. They usually play the Cowboys up there. Mm. I think In Danica's Darwin. going up. She's going to swim the crocodiles, isn't she? What actually? Josh. Yeah. Mm. Hope there's a cage. I'm hearing that's actually your job. Moses! Last one, Matt, lock in! I think JT did that a couple of years ago, didn't he? Or he might have fed them or something. He lost, lost the ball. Oh, no, late call. Break. One of the great places in Australia, Darwin. Yeah, Fun be, place. Be nice and warm. Mm. They're going to take a shot at penalty goal. Twenty-two-four. And Parramatta happy just to take time out of the game now. There's still a bit of rust there, Andrew, isn't there? They're not they're not flowing as they were last year. This Parramatta outfit they've got this game under control very comfortably, but there's certainly some improvement in them with ball in hand. Moses has kicked it. We'll get back to that after. Short restart. A short restart has actually been won by Parramatta for about the There's a first. first or second time in the game, and they won a penalty the as well. Runner. I think it's a pass mark in the air for Parramatta he today. And a lot of players out, the Bulldogs have had injuries in to some players. And they got to a big lead, Parramatta. I was waiting in the second half for him to really open the shoulders and probably give him a six out of ten. Sure, on the back of Moses' mind, we want to send some of these fans home happy. We let me put a try on late. Sean Russell straight through. Ground now for Vitamu Greg. He's a likely character. They've got a starting spot with Junior Polo out with suspension, and he reveled in that. And Tavita tried to pluck an intercept. And then he runs over and tries to put a shot on. And oh, Avarillo is still there. Release. He's moving better now than he, than he was before half time, actually. Of course, the news from earlier in the game after uh, Josh Adokar suffered that bad ankle injury last week. Jacob Carraz has done an MCL. So two of the real bright sparks for the Bulldogs, a sideline for extended periods. It's. Awful news for them as Greg charges onto a short pass. Played it right underneath the sticks now. Moses out the back to Gutherson. Sivo, he's unmarked out there. Mike has got two tries. Yeah, lovely vision by Clint Gutherson. Just puts enough weight on this kick to get it into the space. And then it just pulls up for Mike Sivo. All started with Mitchell Moses. Izuzu.
here at Combank Stadium. So he's, he's now up to 40 tries here. This is his 41st game. He's nearly running at a try a game here. And from a career perspective, 76 tries in this his 90th game. It is an incredible record for this remarkable superstar winger. You know you're popular when you've got your own chant. Ah, oh, listen to that. <laughs> oh, that is a strike. <laughs> Next Tuesday, it is a very special day for the country and also on the rugby league calendar with the Roosters and the Dragons going head to head on Anzac Day. Do not miss all the special commemorative um, ceremonies in the build up to the game from 3 p.m. right here on Nine's Wide World of Sports. And this is the first Anzac Day clash we'll see at the new Allianz Stadium, which I'm sure Brad Fittler will be something incredibly special. Freddie's uh, chasing some news for us. Um, that that ground will be electrifying on Anzac Day. Oh, it's the best day. Well, you're playing for a Jordan, higher purpose, you aren't you? When you play on ball. Anzac Day, it's a big day for this nation, Australia, and also the nation across the ditch in New Zealand. So you want to sort of emulate the courage and and traits that those diggers that put on the line back in the day and put on a good show for them because it's a big day for our nations. Yeah, and the, the pre-game commemorations are, are very stirring. It's something rugby league does extraordinarily well. So join us for Anzac Day. Roosters Dragons on 9, 3 p.m. Uh, on the day itself. Five metres out, Parramatta now. Pass misses its target. They've, they've hung in Canterbury. They've been battered again as with Karaz leaving the field, but they've had Avarillo, who's been a passenger for the entire game also. So much optimism about Canterbury's hopes this year. Look, they're not dashed by any means. They will get some players back, but at the moment it's hard going for them. The absolute bulk of the players um, are their big middle men who were sidelined. And you throw their two gun wingers on the back of it too. They've, they've had no luck. Like, There's key positions now, aren't they? Those, those wingers, particularly with that O car. Sebo gives the pass away. Last play of the game coming up here. Sebo putting plays on. Bill goal. Moses with a, somewhat of a miss kick. The ball's going to sit up in the end goal. And Hayes Perham, well, he, he's going to have one last dash after the siren. Why not? He's got nowhere to go and he's got no one to pass it to. And he cops one last bruise after full time. So it's been pretty comprehensive in the end. It was a real dogfight for the first 21 minutes. It took that long for Parramatta to get on the board, but that was the steadier, and from that moment on, it's probably fair to say they had the game in hand. Maybe a little period there in, in the second half when Canterbury across, but had a, a try denied by the bunker. But five tries to one in the end, and full-time in Sunday footy, Parramatta 30 over Canterbury 4.